we will go through an X360 key install on a Slim360. As you can see, this one's already taken apart. You can find many videos online on YouTube on how to take this Slim apart. Here's the X360 key setup. This is the latest R72 version, which is version 1.1. Comes with the flat cables and the USB dongle instead. So what we're going to do first is we'll prepare the micro SD card with the firmware. For Slim 360s, uh, it's labeled as dummy.bin, and for fat 360s, it's firmware.bin. So what we will do first is take the drive out. And we will connect it. Here I have a X360 USB Pro and a CK3 Lite. So we'll plug the power in from the CK3 Lite. Here's a SATA cable from the X360 USB Pro. Turn the CK3 light on. Make sure the drive powers up once I hit eject. And the drive opens up. So we will take the micro SD card. Here's a micro SD reader and an SD card reader. Either of them will work. So what we will do is prepare it in jungle flash here. Once you pop it in, you will see the pop-up come up. You'll see this label as X key. Minimize it. Now what we'll do here to make things a lot easier, click on organize on the top right. This is on Windows 7. What you want to do here is we want to disable file extensions, hidden file extensions. So click on folder and search options. Click on view at the top. Now where it says hidden file, hide, fi hide extensions for known file types, uncheck that, click on apply, then OK. Open Jungle Flasher. And you'll see it open here. Now if you look at the drive properties, it says 0401 here. So what we will do, now this method of extracting the keys works with 0401, 1071, 9504, and 0225 slim drives. For 9504 drives, make sure you're on the latest 13604 dashboard. So, we'll click on slim, go to the DVD key 32 tab first on the top. Make sure dummy.bin is checked in the corner. Click on slim key. A prompt will come up to send and unlock to Slim. Click on No. It's working its magic right now. Now it'll ask you where to save your dummy.bin. I'll save it in this folder. Now what you will do is once it's saved, just copy and paste that same that dummy.bin file onto the folder with your micro SD card. Copy and paste. Now you'll see this is the micro SD card. And if you go to computer, you'll see the properties. This is the factory micro SD card, the 128 meg that they sent. 748 kilobytes free of 0 0.90 megabytes. The firmware files itself are stored in the partition, so you'll only see the dummy.bin file on the micro SD card. I will now show the extraction method for bin key drives for 360. This is similar to all FAT 360s except light on so you need to do a few different steps, but it's almost similar. Now we've got the bin key drive plugged into the X360 USB Pro and CK3 Lite. We'll open Jungle Flasher.
what we will do is go to the MTK flash tab, hit BenQ unlock, wait for it to unlock the drive. You will see it listed there. Now what you will do is click on read. It's reading the drive. And it'll ask you to save the firmware. So just save it. Now this is your original firmware that you extracted. What you have to do, click on open target firmware. Now go to the directory where you have your stock firmware files. And click on BenQ. Now make sure you're on, if you're on the latest dashboard which is 13604, that would be post 13141. You'll see that the revision is 04421. Click on that one. Click on spoof source to target. Save to file. Save it as firmware.bin. And I'll save it in this directory here. Now all you need to do is just take that firmware.bin file and just place it onto the root directory of your micro SD card. So now that we have the firmware on the on the micro SD card, it'll just slide into this micro SD slot. These new ones are spring loaded, so if you just press it in, it'll click in, and it comes out by pressing it. It'll come out. Now to connect these, the easiest way to remember to connect the SATA and the power ports is these two outer ones will go to the X360 key motherboard itself. So the power cable and the SATA cable from the X Xbox 360 motherboard will go into these two. So we'll connect these ones that came with the X360 key to the inside ones. And for the power ones you'll see there's a slot make sure you don't plug it in backwards. So now that these two are connected we can connect the flat cable. This flap just comes right up. Insert it in there and the flap closes. So now we can put the cardboard onto it so nothing shorts out. Now that you see it installed there, we can plug in the power and the SATA from the Xbox 360. Now for this ribbon cable, easiest way is there's a slot right behind the USB port see it come out on the back. Now what you can do is you can just push it underneath this metal tab here. And here you have it. Now here's the drive. We will plug this SATA cable from the X360 key into it. And the power cable as well. It's got the slot in there actually. And then once you put the drive in place, this is basically with it installed. So what we will do now is connect the USB dongle. This blue part faces the top of the USB port. So you just slide it in. This plugs into the back of the USB port. Now you can choose to use the remote if you want to use the remote what you will do is plug the micro USB cable be very careful when plugging it in so you don't push it in too far USB cable from the remote goes into the back of the USB dongle so 
So now we will power the 360 up and give it a test before we close up the 360 itself. Power it up. You will see on here, you can go through the menu. Click on about, your, dr your drive information is listed there. So everything seems to be installed properly. So now we will go with closing the console up. So here's a Slim360 closed up. If you look in the back, you can see how the USB dongle is set up. You gotta go into the remote and the hard drive is plugged in. So we'll turn it on. If you look on the remote and the TV screen, there's the X key logo. When you power it with the power button, it goes into emulation mode. If you power it using the Jug button it goes into pass through mode so you can use the DVD drive. Alright, the hard drive is detected. We'll see the hard drive listed here. We'll select Years of War 3. It says to open tray, so all you do is press the eject button. It says tray opening. Tray doesn't actually open in emulation mode, just in pass through mode, so you'll see it load up on the TV screen now. There's a Gears of War 3 loading. Now we can turn it off. If you boot it up using the eject button as I said before, it opens a drive. Now if you look in the remote, it shows the X key logo and it'll say it's in pass through mode. Pass through mode. So what we will do now is I will show you how to enable ISO menu so you can then eliminate having the remote and just load games directly from the dashboard. So we'll disconnect the USB cable, plug the USB cable for your hard drive onto the computer, laptop, whatever you're using. Now what you need to do is download the firmware, 1.06 firmware from either x360key.com or x360keyforum.com. That's the hard drive that popped up. You'll see all your games are in a games folder. It needs to be in that games folder in order for it to work. Now in the 1.06 firmware, three files you need are the xkey.cfg, rootfs, and uimage. So what we need to do is open xkey.cfg in notepad, wordpad, any text editor. You scroll down, you will see a line that says menu ISO equals N. Change that N into Y. Save it. Now what we have to do is copy and paste those three files, xkey.cfg, uimage, and rootfs onto the root directory of your hard drive. So there's the hard drive. Right click, paste. Now let the files are there. What we will do is disconnect the USB cable from the you see, plug it into your remote. We'll turn the 360 on. Wait for it to boot up and wait for the hard drive to become detected. You'll see that it shows updating. Please wait. We'll wait for that update to become completed.
shows update complete restart your console so what we're going to do is turn it off now what you can do is turn it back on and we can load ISO menu now you can do this with the remote connected or disconnected it's easier to see if it's working with the remote connected shows emulation mode we'll wait for uh, the hard drive to become detected the hard drive has to be detected in order for ISO menu to work It's best to actually delete the execute.cfg and the update files from your hard drive. Once this is done, it'll speed up the detection of your hard drive so it doesn't scan for the update. Shows hard drive connected. What I'll do is I'll go to the disk channel. You see there, it shows open tray. Just hit eject. You'll see tray opening, and on the remote, it'll say ISO menu. You'll see it say mixed media disc on your TV screen. So, what you have to do to load the game is go to your picture library, select it, click on current disc. You'll see your hard drive listed there. Mine's listed as no label. Select there. You'll see your games listed there. And I'll load Gears of War 3. So I selected it. Now what you have to do is just go back to the main screen with your disk channel. Go back to Mixed Media Disk. All you do is hit X on your remote and it'll load the game. And there's Gears of War 3 loading. And that's your basic X360 key install.